Welcome to Age of Noob everyone, and let's talk about the age-old question of refreshing lumber camps, this time for Age of Empires 4. This question is a bit trickier to answer directly, but with a mathematical approach, we can get a reasonable rule of thumb for different scenarios. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. As you may have seen from top players already, lumberjacks that walk a tad too long are often instructed to build an additional lumber camp closer to the woodline. This, of course, is to mitigate the walk time of the villagers. The longer the villagers walk back and forth between the tree and the resource drop-off point, the less efficient the wood collection rate will be. That said, there is, of course, a trade-off of 50 wood to construct another lumber camp, as well as 20 seconds of the villagers' time. So let's explore what could be the sweet spot in terms of time and distance in which you should refresh the lumber camp. In my tests, I will refer to the wood lines in terms of rows. Although using the grid tiles is a more specific measurement, trees do not spawn individually over each tile as they do in Age of Empires 2. Hence, I will look at trees in terms of rows, in which villagers will cut down the first few trees facing the lumber camp, then move on to the one behind it, and so on. This method is also easier to gauge as you can see the tree stumps very quickly to roughly get an idea of how much you've chopped already. Furthermore, the collection rates you will see on the screen were calculated based on the average collected wood per minute over the course of 5 minutes. Hence, I'm not taking the theoretical collection rates here, as I've tested the scenarios individually. And finally, the sub 2 minute baseline payback time being the bare minimum for the lumber camp refresh to be worth it is my opinion of course. I think 2 minutes is a reasonable time in terms of trade off for most maps and skill levels. Based on the map you play, your skill level or game mode, you can adjust this accordingly as some high elo players battling it out aggressively on more open maps will likely prefer a better payback time, possibly around a minute or so. Hence, take the numbers you see and apply it accordingly to the type of game you're playing, but I think the 2 minute payback time is a reasonable baseline for most players out there. Ok, with those out of the way, let's get right into the numbers. Let's first start with one villager and with no economic upgrades whatsoever. Although you will rarely have one villager chopping wood at a wood line by himself, it gives us a good, efficient baseline to work with. One villager collects roughly 34 wood per minute for all trees in the first row as there is minimal walking time. The collection rate then drops to 30 wood per minute for the second row, 26 wood per minute for the third row, and 24 wood per minute for the fourth row. You should have already noticed the sharp decline at the third row as the collection rate goes down by almost 25%. That said, I shouldn't have to mention that refreshing the lumber camp for one villager only is one of the dumbest things you could do, as the marginal drop of the collection rate of one villager barely means anything. When we crunch the numbers, and yes, I did include the construction time in these figures, you'll notice that even by the fourth row of the trees, it'll take more than five minutes to pay back the cost and the time for the new lumber camp. But we all instinctively knew this already, so let's not dwell on the obvious and move on to two villagers. Two villagers on wood is very common in terms of build orders for a lot of openings and civilizations. You can also immediately see the numbers improving significantly. However, more than 3 minutes to pay back after the third row of trees is still way too long in my opinion to be worth the investment. By the fourth row, it does drop to 2.6 minutes, but by that time, you'll probably already be in the mid game. In short, refreshing your lumber camp for only two villagers is also generally not worth it. Things do get interesting with three villagers. We could begin justifying the refresh between the third and fourth row of trees as we begin hovering around the two minute payback time. Hence, this means that when we get to our proper wood line of five villagers, the collection amount drops so much that we can get our investment back in only roughly a minute and a half. So, broadly speaking, this is our first rule of thumb. If your wood line has four or five villagers with no upgrades and you've reached around the third and fourth row of trees, you should refresh your lumber camp, regardless of your skill level or the map you're playing. When we jump to 10 villagers, the numbers get funny. You should notice a fantastic 1.4 minute payback time on only the second row of trees. This mainly stems from the walking time caused by the side trees when we let our lumberjacks chop on their own with no micro. Well, in this case, you should not refresh your lumber camp, but simply select 5 villagers and build another lumber camp from a different angle, or choose to build a lumber camp on another wood line instead for both safety and efficiency. Of course, this will all depend on the game you're playing. This finding also kind of gets into villager micro as well as other wood related mechanics, but I'll cover those in detail in another video. This is our second rule of thumb. If you're using more than 5 villagers on one wood line and you've reached the second and third row of trees, then you should refresh your lumber camp. If you are using a lot of villagers like 10 villagers, then consider another angle or another wood line for further efficiency and safety. Okay, all of those numbers were without any upgrades, but what if we research forestry and double broad axe? Now, I'm not going to get into whether or not those upgrades are worth it because that's a topic for another video, so let's just assume that you have those researched already. 
There's no need to go through each scenario once more to save some time. For both one villager and two villagers, refreshing lumber camps is simply still not worth it. For three villagers, however, we do see a sub two minute payback time on the third row of trees, a 2.2 payback time for the second row of trees for a woodline of five villagers, and a ridiculous sub one minute payback time for the second row and beyond for woodlines of 10 villagers. Once again, these numbers might slightly change based on your map generation and shape of your woodlines, villager micro, and other Civ specific bonuses, but this should give you a good rough idea. If retaining all of those numbers in mind is difficult for you, here's a TLDR. The two important points you can take away from this video are, one, if you're using four to five villagers, be sure to refresh your lumber camp by the third row of trees, regardless of whether or not you have upgrades. If you're using eight villagers or more on a single woodline, consider splitting those villagers into groups of four to increase efficiency and safety once you reach roughly the second to third row of trees. That's it, that's your rule of thumb. Also, since lumber camps cost only 50 wood, the investment should barely affect your timings, be it structurally or militarily. Hence, you don't have to worry about the payback times being purely mathematical as the interference to your gameplay, strategies, or build orders will be minimal. Well, that's pretty much all you need to know about refreshing lumber camps in Age of Empires 4. I will be exploring the ecotex, villager micro, and other factors that affect wood collection in a future video, so be sure to be subscribed to not miss out on any future Age of Empires content. As always, thanks for watching everyone, don't let your lumberjacks do a pilgrimage just to drop off their wood, and see you all in the next one. Thank you.